with media night starting tonight, let's yep. kind of go through a run through of what these guys are doing. Yep. So as you said, we know these guys well, but this is going to be the world's chance to meet these Absolutely. Guys. Who's going to be a star tonight? That is not a star now. A guy that's really going to own it. I have a. I have two. I have clear. two. Okay. All right. You go first. All right. Should we go one to one? Yeah. I, I'm I hope gonna, you don't take mine first. I'm going to go with Chris Long. Okay. Perfect. Because I think there's a chance, and everybody knows Chris Long, right? He donated right. his entire salary to charity this year. Got a shout out on Twitter from President Obama. Yeah. But I think there's a chance he shows up in the dog mask. And if he rolls in with the dog mask on and he does the interview in the dog mask, well, everybody in Philadelphia has fallen in love with him. Everybody in New England knows him. Right. I think there's a good chance for Chris Long to showcase himself on the national stage and maybe even parlay his football career into a future in, television in nice father and father. Right. Following nice, his father's footsteps. The nice thing about Chris Long is he can talk about anything. Yep. I mean, maybe one of the brightest guys on the team. Yep. Un, unafraid to talk about anything. Absolutely. He'll answer all the questions. He's able to have fun with things. Yep. So he's kind of perfect for this. But my guy that I think right now is not a household name that people will know after tonight is Brandon Graham. A guy that yeah, yeah. is one of the best defensive ends in the league already. Great against the run, but has never really become like a premier name when it comes to defensive ends. But we deal with him every day. We yep. see it. This nice guy, this guy in the locker yeah, room. Right, no. right. And not only that, he's he's willing to have fun. He yep. likes to have fun. He'll joke back with the reporters. If someone asks him to dance, he might get up and do that. He'll put masks on. And he, he's also very smart. But one other thing that will help him out is he's good at not rocking the boat. Yep. He talks a lot, but he doesn't rock the boat. He won't say anything Michigan about Michigan boy, Patriots. Big Ten. Yeah, that's right, Penn State. But, uh, <laughs> you know, so I think he'll be very good tonight. Yeah. Now, let me ask you this. Who's one guy that you think is going to put his foot in his mouth? He's going to say something that's like, Doug's talking to him about it the next morning. We're like, all right, here it is. This is the guy. It, 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 I think it's clear cut number one. It's going to it's going to drive the bus for the entire week. Yeah. You know, I, I hate answering things like this, but I think it could be Fletcher Cox. Ah, uh, nice. It's not mine. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just think that, that Fletcher is another guy who tells it like it is. He's not afraid to casually drop a swear word in there if he's right. unprepared. And, and he goes on and says for this whole diatribe about how he's never watched the Super Bowl last week. Yeah. And then I know Dan Levy from from uh, William Penn Sports goes in and he found 15 tweets from right. the Super Bowls in the past that Fletcher Cox had watched. So I think Fletcher Cox has a chance to put his foot in his mouth and maybe say something also, that could drive in there. Also, when he was doing his Super Bowl press conference last week, the lights were bright, and he was yeah. sweating like oh my profusely. Goodness. They had to turn it off. Yeah. So I don't know if he was actually hot or if he just couldn't handle the pressure, but yeah. I think if he's on a podium tonight, it's going to be really interesting to see. But to me, my guy's Lane Johnson. Yeah. A guy that literally doesn't know how to be anything but honest. Right. He says everything that's on his mind. Texas boy. Texas boy. Through. Like, loves to curse. Yeah. Like he'll, you know, he'll have some sayings he'll drop. He's not afraid to talk. I mean, He like, might throw some beer, some, uh, right, you know, Bud Light, Light, to, Bud Light to the stage, right? Yeah. But also, um, before the season, he said they were going to go down to Washington and kick the Redskins' ass. He's always yeah. he's not afraid to make predictions. I think Which is he, great. Yeah, exactly. And I think that as far as like a locker room leader, that's what you want. Um, and I wrote all year that I thought he was the best offensive tackle in football. And I think that, you know, if you, you read Zach Ertz's story on the Players' Tribune, he came out and said that, you know, it was Lane Johnson and Chris Long who they were sitting at dinner and Zach Ertz said, quote, Lane Johnson sitting there with a shitting grin on his face and he couldn't <laughs> figure out why and they said oh we bought these dog masks and they're not like funny cute underdog masks right. they're creepy, creepy German shepherd yeah. masks so that was a funny moment that I think has become a rallying cry for this team for this playoff run and Lane and Chris Long were the two guys that brought that into being 